Hi there, I'm Mason. Welcome to my shop. And welcome to my paint booth. So I've been getting ready to paint this dresser project that I've been working on. And I always like spraying my projects because you just get a better finish and it's more efficient. But it does take a lot more prep. So I wanted to walk you through all the things I've done to prep the space for spraying. The most dramatic thing I've done to this space to get it ready for spraying is to hang plastic from the walls. I did this by duct taping some six mil plastic to some PVC pipe and then just hung it from the ceiling from screws. That way, when I'm done, I can roll up the plastic and just put it away for easy storage. The other thing you wanna do if you care about your floors at all is cover them. Spraying gets over spray everywhere. So I've got about a 20 foot by 20 foot section covered with plastic and I'm only gonna be spraying in that one small, small corner to keep the overspray from getting further out. So let's just take a quick look at all the things I've got set up on my bench to make sure spraying goes efficiently and cleanly. So this is just a Costco folding table that I've covered with yet more plastic. And then on it, I've got my HBLP gun that is just a Home Depot brand, nothing fancy. Uh, it's in a stand, uh, which is important for this guy. Your filter. And you keep more filters right behind the gun. And then to the right of the gun, in its stand, I keep the bucket of paint. That way you could just move this guy over. Plenty of paint sticks. Painter's tool for really just opening and closing the can of paint. A razor blade, because you never know when you're going to need one of those. Five gallon bucket for throwing away stuff. Shop rags. Spray bottle of water. Plastic gloves. And a spare box of uh, HVLP parts, just in case I need to clean it out or replace something in a pinch. Clothes-wise, I've got a spare pair of paint shoes, a pair of raggedy sweatpants that are now my paint pants, old flannel that I don't really care about, an apron that I can quickly take on and off, and oh hey, a spare mask. This table's where a bulk of the action's gonna happen. I've got a piece of cardboard that I use to check the spray pattern on my gun and just to make sure everything works well before I spray on the piece. I've got uh, a drawer front here that is gonna sit on some standoffs. And yeah, this is just another folding table from Costco. And then just to the right of that table, I've got the main workpiece. It's up on a mega dolly, and this gives me two advantages. It lets me move it around without touching any wet paint if I need to get like to one side or the other. Uh, and then it also raises it up a little bit so it's easier to see. Uh, when it comes go time, I'm actually going to start with it upside down. I'll paint the bottom spart parts and then flip it without touching any wet pieces uh, and then paint the rest of it. And to the right of the workpiece, I've got my drawing rack. Now, these are just cheap Rubbermaid shelves. Uh, I don't care about them too much. If they get any paint on them, I can break them down later. I just use them in this shop for random things like this. Um, I'll probably get around to building a proper like drawing rack so I can do more than six uh, drawer fronts. Uh, but the, the point is they're within easy, uh, quick access of the main spray, spray area so I can spray over there, take one and drop it there, grab another one and swap back and forth until they're all painted. I just wanted to quickly mention this uh, air compressor real quick. It's got a big old 35 gallon tank. I tried using a five gallon pancake uh, compressor for a while and it really didn't keep up. I got uh, varying spray patterns but uh, I've had great results with this one over the last couple of years. So yeah, that's kind of my pre-paint setup checklist. Um, I probably forgot something, but let me know in the comments if, uh, if you think I should include something else in my process. 
Uh, love hearing from you guys. Um, otherwise, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.